Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of a controversial topic, which I tend to stay away from, but it has been highly requested and um, it's kind of relevant to what's going on in my life. So we're going to talk about should you go to college um, and at the same time, should you drop out of college? Um, we're going to sort of weigh some of the pros and the cons. And um, there's a video that I've struggled about making. I've thought about it. And I finally decided to make it. Uh, assuming this video gets released. Um, so let's go ahead and, and talk about it. While you're out there trying to figure out what path is right for you, might I recommend Dev Mount Coding Bootcamp. They're teaching web development, iOS development, Salesforce, quality assurance, and more. Uh, they're one of the only boot camps, if not the only boot camp that I'm aware of, that uh, includes housing along with their tuition, which is really cool. You can check them out at devmount.com to get started and get more information. I want to sort of preface this video, and it is my opinion for the most part, but we're going to be talking about some things like sort of consider facts. Um, but a lot of times whenever you talk about college, traditional education, a lot of people are very cult-like in their mentalities. They're not very flexible. They don't want to hear other arguments. Um, and I, I have no doubt that the the comment section of this video will, will be filled like that. And that's okay. I, I encourage people to expand their minds a little bit. Um, be open to the different solutions for different people. <laughs> I mean, it was just... Even when I when I dropped out of college for the second time, so I'm an expert. All right, let me tell you. Uh, no, uh, about dropping out, maybe not about college, um, but um, I I get emails on occasion from people. Just last week, I got an email. Someone emailed me to solicit un unsolic unsolicited advice about how dropping out of college is the worst uh, mistake I'm ever going to make, and all this sort of stuff. So uh, it is something people that. We have sort of have it ingrained in our minds to such a degree that it's kind of strange. Um, you know, it was just an article yesterday came out about how one-third of college students don't have a place to sleep and one-third of college students don't have enough to eat, and yet they're still going to college instead of maybe getting their life together in an aspect that would help them in the immediate. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a strange world where we have students struggling to find a, place, a bed and a meal. Um, and so something obviously needs to change, but that's for a separate video. Let's talk about should, you know, what are the benefits of going to college? And then I'll, I'll talk about should you drop out and why I did and um, why it was a good decision for me. And maybe it, it was a good decision for you. So college is a, a strange beast because, um, you know, the average grad in 2018 is graduating with like 37 or 38,000 in debt. We'll just say $40,000 in debt. Um, it's taking them five years on average. And uh, so let's say you're somewhere between four to six years if you're killing it, um, or four years if you're killing it, six years if you're kind of a, you know, kicking back. Um, so it's t quite a big time investment. Um, not everyone goes for a high paying degree either. High paying degrees being, um, you know, there's a, there's a couple, um, but in, a, in our case for, you know, software, computer science, um, there's some business degrees that pay well, but there's about two thirds of uh, degrees that don't pay very well. Um, you know, English is one of them, right? Um, my girlfriend is an English major. She had a full scholarship, so luckily she she didn't um, have any debt when she graduated. But uh, I could tell you that um, you know, as an English major, when you're getting started and for a very long time, if you were to have forty thousand dollars in debt you are going to have a very hard time paying that off an almost um, comical amount of time. Um, you know, you might just default by, by you know, there, there are programs set up in the degree program where if you make the minimum payments for like 10 or 15 years uh, and you still don't have it paid off based off what your salary is, is how the, the minimum payment is defined. Um, they'll just say, all right, you paid us for a decade. Um, that, uh, we'll, we'll call it a wash. That, that's indentured servitude at the, <laughs> at the end of the day. And that's kind of scary. Um, and a lot of people go and get degrees like that. And, you know, God knows I, I've met so many software developers who, um, you know, they went and they got a, uh, a liberal arts, a very, a very liberal arts degree. And um, to their surprise, the roles that were there were no better than, 
you know, $12 an hour roles um, where, you know, you could have just worked six months at a job and got something like that. And they transitioned into something else um, after I've spending, you know, many years in school. So college is strange in that fact, but it does have some great benefits. Um, the hardest part of being a um, software engineer uh, or a, a aspiring software engineer when you're just getting started and don't have any relevant work experience is scaling that HR fi firewall, right? Just like, please, just give me a chance. I got the skills and training. And HR's like, get out of here. You ain't got no degree. We don't like your kind, right? <laughs> so um, the the college aspect really helps you scale that that wall. Um, and uh, very, very well so, very much so. Um, to get that first real job. Now, are there other ways to scale the wall? Absolutely. But for a lot of people, college is the, the only way. And it's so ingrained in our society that <coughs> even now, um, I did a video uh, when I turned 30, um, you know, about six months back, about the um, what I would tell my younger self. And one of my points was to be more accepting of who you are. And um, even even saying that, I then went back to college, which I knew I wasn't going to enjoy or like, and that wasn't for me, uh, because it is so ingrained in me, and even sort of trying to be as self-aware as possible. So, but uh, we're getting a little off track here. So college is great to scale that HR firewall. It also is great to give you a learning path, even if, um, you know, every college is slightly different, but even if the majority of colleges, I would say, are teaching, you know, the fundamentals, um, but what they're really not teaching are things that uh, you need for the workplace, um, you know, and, and um, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a strange thing where we are having college grads graduate that are not ready for a job. Um, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but, uh, you know, as, uh, I don't know. I always assumed call you went to college to get a job, a good job. Um, but you don't come out with the skills for the job. Uh, so, um, but the, the one main benefit, you do pick up some sort of logical skills just by thinking you'll have a piece of paper that says, Hey, I'm a decent human being. Hire me. And HR says, yeah, we respect decent human beings. We will hire you, or we'll at least consider you. Um, and then uh, forty thousand dollars in debt. So it's quite, it's quite. That's really how I see college. Um, now, why might you not want to take that forty thousand dollars of debt? Is really, really something to, to talk about and how to overcome that, and why you should drop out of college and why you shouldn't. Um, and just because this is a life-changing decision even though I don't think this needs to be said. If you are considering dropping out of college, might I just recommend that you do your own research and not just say, hey, here's this YouTuber who is a software engineer. He's doing all right for himself. Um, he ain't got no education, um, at least no degree anyhow. And uh, just go based off that. I, I encourage you because at the end of the day, you are the one who has to live with your choices. You're the one who has to, um, you know, walk in your own shoes so please don't just watch this one video tomorrow drop out of college and then just think you're going to hit the ground running um the people who should stay in college are the people who can't handle freedom what i mean by that is there's a lot that goes along with um going to college college also offers a very structured learning path and structure it just offers structure really and but we can we can debate whether that learning path is good bad but it does offer you a learning path and it does offer you structure where you need to be in this chair at this time uh for this amount of hours and then you're going to need to prepare for this test on this subject um so it's very structured which is which is good for some people um because when you get freedom uh that's really what it is is uh when you're on the self-taught you have the freedom to choose your own materials choose what hours you're doing uh what and when and how you're going to progress and a lot of people um so i don't know if it's a maturity thing or a personality thing that's that's for a separate video but a lot of people when you give them that freedom right when you give them that sort of 
hey, um, no one's going to make sure that you study today. No one's going to make sure that you are one step closer to becoming a developer. Um, they, they crumble, they fail. And uh, they, you know, they might just sit on the couch playing Xbox all day, say, I'll study tomorrow. Start hitting the bong all day and uh, get to it tomorrow, right? Uh, um, and it's <laughs> it's one of those things where um, it's not a it's not a that freedom. It's not something a lot of people can thrive in. And it's the harder part of being a self-taught developer. Um, but um, if you can, um, you might be more successful in the long term. Um, now, it is. It is hard for me to. I, let me just tell you why I dropped out of college, and then maybe you should. You'll decide if you should as well. I dropped out of college because I was sick of being broke and hungry, and I wanted to work a job and I wanted to code. And the computer science program had very little coding in it. Um, college made me really depressed, really miserable. Um, it was just an awful, awful time. So that's why I dropped out of college. And I did so with a plan. And this is what I really want to emphasize if you're considering dropping out of college and, and going a different route is uh, no plan is a shitty plan at best, as John likes to say in, uh, in his book. <laughs> uh, um, when, I, when I knew that, <coughs> that I was going, that it was a real possibility, that I, you know what, I, I don't know how much longer I can actually do this. Um, I devised a plan. My plan was pretty simple. Get an internship. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter how far away it is or whatever. It's ended up being two hours away got each way. Um, you know, making $12 an hour from there. Get a relevant job. Drop out of college. That was basically it. Um, continue working on the YouTube. Every day work on the skill set so that I could have the skills ready. And once I got a job that could pay my bills, I dropped out of college. Um, that was my plan and then from there on continuing working on those skills and i i think what was mo and i i the reason i bring up the freedom and being able to focus and all that sort of stuff is i wasn't always one of those people where i could sit down all right saturday after work you know it's uh right now it's 7 50 in the morning i'm filming this video right every morning i work on my youtube for about an hour and a half or or coding or you know hour and a half of personal development in some direction uh, i was always one of those people um when i dropped out of college i had no choice but to be one of those people because i'm paying my rent i am working a job that even as a even working at a software company, I still wasn't a developer. I wasn't where I wanted to be. So I had to. I forced basically. I put myself in a situation where um, I had hit my rock bottom in life, and I said, "Look, I gotta go up from here. I ain't going any farther." And also, I put myself in a situation where there's no going back. That's it. I dropped out. Um, there's no. There's no other path to take other than hard work. Um, because God knows we've already been broke and we've already been hungry and sleeping on couches. I don't want to go back to that. And so if you're at the point where you are so miserable going to school every day and you are so miserable, um, you know, taking on tens of thousands of dollars of debt or that idea alone is something you say, fuck that. I don't want to take 40 grand of debt. Uh, it might be for you. It really might be. And but. I want to preface all that with have a plan. You say, okay, Dylan, look, I don't want to go do a computer science degree. Um, I just don't want to spend four years. I think the amount of time that I can earn, the amount of income I can earn, uh, even if it starts low in four years, along with not taking on debt and working internships and getting my way up, I have a plan to accomplish that. If you have a plan and you can work towards that to achieve that, I would highly recommend going that route over a traditional education and part of the reason is that the amount of income you would lose over four years would to a degree will probably weigh itself out but also four years from now so you drop out today and you ex start executing your plan four years from now you might be in a position where you can go back to school and not take out any debt um you know like even though i was just in for one semester it was thirty five hundred dollars here I'm, and right now I lost thirty five hundred dollars to go back to school, but I don't have I don't have any debt. That was 
the only reason I was able to pay for that out of pocket was because I have experience and I'm working as a software developer. If I was a student, going back, I have $3,500 of debt that's going to carry with me until I pay it off. And $3,500 of debt, when you make $8 an hour, is a ridiculous amount of debt. <laughs> it, is a, it is a very large amount of debt that is going to be getting chipped away like it's a mountain for quite some time. Um, but you do have that option down the road. And you might even consider not going the self-taught route because it's hard. It's, 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 it is hard. And, and I've had people really say, Dylan, do you really think being a self-taught developer is harder than going to college? And I, I'd say for, for people like me, at very least it is where I don't like learning things that aren't relevant. I don't like learning the memorization is not a something that I think is a is is, is a good skill. Uh, memorization is the ability to essentially be a parrot and um, being able to figure things out. Logic that's what I enjoy, and unfortunately the schooling system at least in my point of view, is teaching outdated things. And really, it's just a, a example of how well can you memorize and pass a test, which is an un unfortunate thing. Um, but so if you are considering dropping out, I'm not going to tell you whether you should or shouldn't really at the end of the day. I, I just want you to know that it can be a consideration. But if it is something you're thinking about, please do have a plan. Have a one-year plan. Um, and... If three months in, you find that you don't have the you don't have the self control, the maturity, the the will to when you wake up every day. All right, cool. Uh, let's have a four hour coding session. Gonna have some lunch. Cool. Come back. Have another four hours coding session. Um, you know, when I was working a job, I wake up an hour, do an hour before work, come home, do two to three hours of code. On the weekends, I do about eight to twelve every day um, on Saturday and Sunday. So. I did that until I got a developer job. If you don't have that type of self-control where you're gonna go to meetups, you're gonna um, do courses, you're gonna you know, build projects, even though you have a job, even though you have children, um, this, the, the dropping out of college thing may be a very bad idea. Now, if you do think that you can do that, create a plan, create a routine. Um, you know, Find a way to be consistent with your learning and understand what it is you're gonna learn. And three months in, if you find that even though you thought you could do it, you couldn't, consider going back to college. Um, consider doing that if, if you really didn't enjoy it because you may need someone to help you scale that HR firewall. And even though you have to take on the debt to do it, it, it is something to consider. So that's sort of my thoughts about whether you should or shouldn't drop out of college and whether college is a good thing. We talked about a lot of stuff uh, today uh, on this video. So um, I tried to give you the best objective opinion of it as I can being a two-time college dropout. That's going to be, your boy ever writes a book, it's going to be engineer or developer. Sometimes people get weird because I call it engineer because I don't have an engineering degree. I, every job title I've ever had is an engineer, but yeah. So we'll say developer, YouTuber, author, two-time college dropout. <laughs> it'll say right on the book. Uh, it'll be good. Um, but anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, support me on Patreon. And uh, I encourage you to share your thoughts about this, this subject. I know this is something people are very passionate about, and I struggled for a very long time considering if I should even do this topic because it is a major life decision. Um, it is something that people don't talk about enough, right? Um, is it hard being a self-taught developer? Yes, but it's uh, it's also very hard to go to college for some of us. <laughs> so uh, not because the classes are hard, um, but because of the structure and the way things are. Um, but yeah, you know, that's my that's my two cents. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. See you next time. Bye. Um, the the um, Quick thank to our sponsor, deviceplus.com. If you guys are interested in Arduino and the Internet of Things, such as Raspberry Pis, might I recommend checking them out, deviceplus.com. If you click the link in the top corner, it will take you to a really cool thing. It's an intro beginner level tutorial of how to build a tripwire using Arduino. Check it out.